Hey guys, my name is Blaj and in this video I'm going to show you how we landed appointment setting clients who are paying me consistent $20,000 commissions month over month. So if you don't know me, I run a sales and marketing agency where we help coaches scale their businesses to seven figures and I help a few people on the side on starting appointment setting and earn full-time income typing simple messages. So with that being said, landing your first or next high paying clients can definitely be a difficult task and a lot of people make a few rookie mistakes on the way. I did myself, I know from experience, and it's really easy to get left on scene, not getting responses from business owners and not really landing any clients, making you feel like appointment setting doesn't work, nobody needs appointment setters these days, and you're just failing at this. So, of course, we don't want that. Let's get into the nitty gritty. So what we're gonna cover in this video is the three biggest mistakes most beginners make when it comes to landing high paying clients the solution and what I did exactly to overcome that that ended up lending high profile clients, how you can do it and a little bit of homework if you're serious about making freelancing a career for yourself. So let's jump onto the computer right now. I can share my screen and we can go from there. So the three biggest mistakes that rookies make is number one, that they right off the bat trying to go cold, like cold approach, cold message, business owners on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, cold email. The problem with that is that since you're a beginner, you don't have a lot of experience on what kind of problems those business owners have and like, how would you? Like you're just starting out. So one of the worst ways to try and hunt and get new clients is just cold messaging people, hoping that they're gonna see your message and hope that they're gonna sooner or later respond. Now, the second thing that we all know is not really working is like sending these big, like gigantic copy paste stacks, zero personalization. You all get it from people who are promoting like, hey, I'm going to guarantee you X amount of followers. We get it all the time. It doesn't really get you anywhere. It just makes you left on scene in the request tab, worst case, even in the hidden requests and not really getting your response to start a conversation with a business owner. And now last like rookie mistake is not following up. Like for the love of God, please, this is a business. You're trying to like build a connection with somebody and just because the business owner didn't respond to you after your very first message, it does not mean that they're not interested. Maybe they had some issues with their dogs or with their kids or a bill from the IRS came up and they had just something a little bit more important than talking to you on Instagram, Facebook, email or LinkedIn. So what is the solution? If it's not going cold, you need to find a way to go warm. And one of the best ways to go warm and talk to somebody because there is this concept, it's called in-group bias versus the out-group bias. The in-group is basically the people that know you and trust you. And the out-group is you looking into a group of people, they don't, know that they don't know you, you don't know them, but you want to try and get into the in-group. Now, this is the same when getting clients. If you're trying to get a client that you don't know, that client is in the out-group, meaning you have to like, convince them that they should like you, know you and trust you and convince them that they should work with you. It's much harder than convincing or trying to convince somebody who already knows you or somebody who you got introduced to. So the best way that I found to land high paying clients, high profile clients is going through an introduction or a referral. And okay, but Balash, how can I get introduced if I don't even have one client? Like who's going to refer me? Really good question. So let's get into that. There's a little bit of a hack we're going to use in here. So what we're going to do is very, very simple. We're going to look for other freelancers who are not appointment setters, but they work with the same kind of clients, coaches, influencers, consultants that we're looking to work with as well. So they have the same kind of clientele, but they are not doing the same exact service as we are doing so that the business could actually hire us because there's a need for that, hopefully. That's not always the case, but of course there's a big chance that if you were to like talk to another appointment setter because another appointment setter is not gonna introduce you to their clients, they're like, hey, this is Johnny, take my appointment setting gig and set appointments instead of me. That's not gonna work. So what I mean is look for people who are, for example, copywriters, funnel builders, like people who run ads for businesses, they usually 
work with coaches, consultants, like coaching businesses in general that need appointment setting service for the most part, not all of them, but a good amount of them. And we're going to create a very, very, like very, very smart bargain deal with them. And of course, like what are you going to do first? Like here, here's the how to do and the what to do things first you're going to network with these people. You're not going to sell them like, Hey dude, please refer me a client. They are not going to respond. Like nobody wakes up today, this morning thinking about how can I refer you a client? Nobody does that. So for just for the first, let's say two days, build a connection with them. Look at their Instagram and Facebook posts. Do they like, what do they do? What kind of clients do they work with? Like share some love and shine on them, appreciate them for doing the things that they're doing and providing a good service in the industry. Like, like if you're their posts, comment something meaningful under them. So not just like a thumbs up emoji or a fire emoji, like really like go a little bit above and beyond to shine some light on them and make them feel good about doing the thing that they do and just connect them, reach out via message, respond to their Instagram stories, for example, is a really good way to build a connection. And then what you're going to tell them later is something along the lines of this. You could tell them, Hey, I saw that you're working with XYZ client and I work as an appointment center with this specific niche. Would you be open to introducing me to that person? I feel like I could really help them because of X, Y, and Z. Of course you did your research and of course you're not asking them to introduce you for free. You're going to give them and offer them a referral fee. Meaning if that person that they introduce you to ends up becoming your client, you're going to give the other freelancer, it could be money like 500 bucks, $200, maybe a bottle of red wine, maybe buy them, I don't know, a sneaker or, or whatever else you might like that you feel like you could afford and makes you a good deal. What I'm doing personally, as I give everybody who's introducing me to a potential client who ends up being our client, $500 referral fee, because I know that what we're doing, it works. We'll provide a great service to the prospect and the client. And usually our clients stay with us for over a year. So it's for me a no brainer to give something back to people. So this is the overall strategy. Keep in mind, the goal here is to build an army of like referrals and partners that you can network with and connect each other and of course give them back. So if you have a client later on that needs a car provider, needs a funnel built, needs somebody to run their ads, you could do the same for these guys. You could also mention like, Hey, are you looking for new clients at the moment? I might have a few people that I could refer you to they would be of course responding to you and building a connection with you because you share value and give value to each other. One of the biggest problems that beginners make is they try to take value up front and give nothing. What you are doing in the other end is you give value, you show some love, you help them like refer other clients to them later on and you build a good connection with all these people. This is how you stand out build a network. So this is not a strategy that's going to get you a client tonight. This is a strategy that's going to feed you clients for the rest of your life, probably a month from now, if you keep doing this every single day. So if you're serious about this, your homework is very simple. Start reaching out to 10 to 20 new freelancers who are parallel to your niche and working with the same clientele that you would like to be working with. As I said, car providers, uh, even agencies, in some cases you can, you can do funnel builders and people who run their ads, start networking with them and start offering each other deals. And sooner or later, you will have your very first or next high paying clients. If this was helpful, leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, just shoot me a message over Instagram at Setable and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.